Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I am Nilofer from Me With A Pencil. Today, we're going to be doing something different. Today, we're going to be painting a food illustration in watercolors. Sounds exciting, right? I'm going to be painting a glass, two glasses of champagne and a fruit basket using wet on wet technique and watercolors. I won't be using any pencils to sketch uh, just the watercolors and my thin brush from Princeton. It's a velvet touch brush, phone number, and I will be using the same brush throughout the video to sketch and paint. So paint along with me. This is a real time video. Paint and share with me. I would love to see your paintings. If you try any of these tutorials from my page, I would love to see them. Do share with me on Instagram at me with the pencil or you can also leave some comments below and let me know what you would like to like me to paint next week. I'm using a wet on wet technique throughout this video so I create a wet outline of all the objects that I am painting since I'm not using any pencil or sketching I'm directly using my paints so I use a wet outline and then use a damp brush and blend those lines that I've creating as my guideline of the object inwards. I think mastering the art of wet on wet technique in watercolor is the key, is the most important thing to understand. Rest everything is all about your perspective and how you plan your painting. But wet on wet technique is definitely one thing that you should practice in and out. So 
I have some few videos, previous videos on how to do wet on wet technique, how to understand wet on wet technique. They are linked on the top right corner. So do go and check them out. Also, if you do like my tutorials, do like these today's tutorial, do hit like and subscribe my channel, comment below and share my videos. Other than a wet on wet technique, I'm hugely fond of blending techniques. Blending a watercolor line is is a key to achieve a lot of different um, angles, shadows, and it's just, just amazing, beautiful artworks. So you should. Uh, I prefer to practice my blending and wash and uh, wet on my techniques a lot it, that's basics for me and you should always have a good base you should always develop practice go back to practicing all the basics and then again come back paint something and have a good time painting so if you enjoyed this video and had fun painting with me to like and subscribe and share i'll see you guys next week do let me know in the comment section that what you would like to like me to paint next if you have any suggestions you can also leave your suggestions in the community section where i do post something about what if i need help with something with lead help with some videos some suggestions so you can let me know in the community section still and yes guys have a good week and weekend I'll s and stay safe and i'll see you guys next week thank you and bye bye